Hey everyone, it's me, Alma, from TwinsMommy.com. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about how to come up with an SEO blog title. You want to be ranking in Google and you want to have a nice SEO title that's optimized. How do you do it? How do you figure it out? Well, I have a four step process. So if you're a brand new blogger and if you're new to SEO, make sure you come and subscribe to my channel and you can see some SEO videos that I have. But in a nutshell, Google is where a lot lot of people, the majority of people and businesses go to search things online and you want your blog post or your blog, your brand to show up on the first page, preferably spot one, two or three. And if you're lucky, you can get spot zero, which is a feature snippet. And that sort of shows on the top. It gives you a little snippet of what you have in your blog post or on that landing page. But for this lesson, I got a question in my Facebook group of Ready, Set, Blog for Traffic from Mom to Mompreneur, where someone asked how to come up with an optimized SEO. SEO blog title and they were having problems because of the keyword that they were using was just very bland, generic. They didn't know how to spice it up. They didn't know what to do to draw the clicks to get ranked in Google. They didn't want to change things. They didn't know what to do. So I thought I'd go through a little process of what I would do. It's a little bit different because I am showing you free tools, free ways to find this uh, SEO optimized blog title. I use uh, paid versions, but you can get the same effect, the same process doing it this way. And for many years, I'd say probably for the first first four to five years, I was only using free tools for sure. All right, so the first step is that you do need to find the keyword for your a blog topic. You can definitely use a free keyword generator tool. I like the one that Ahrefs provides. It's a small snapshot, but what I like about this keyword tool versus other keyword tools is that it gives you the volume as well as the keyword difficulty. And for new bloggers, and especially for just any blogger, whether you've been blogging for a year or five years or 10 years, you do want to look at how difficult the keyword is. You don't want to position your blog to try to rank for something that you cannot ever rank for because all the big publications, Pinterest or Amazon or home hardware or whatever those big brands are taking over the first page of Google. Let's pretend that our blog is a lifestyle blog and you want to write some seasonal blog posts. And so for the summer, you want to prepare for some summer drinks. I'm just going to type in summer drinks to see what comes up. It looks like it gives us a nice little snap shot, like I said, of some cool ideas here. So I really like this like Starbucks summer drinks 2022 sound looks really neat. It's a low keyword difficulty, anything below 20 for blogs that are quite young, under three years old. These are keywords that you can rank for up here. You definitely can, but looks like Starbucks summer drinks is what I'm getting here. I can change this a little bit and put maybe something like a specific. So vodka, vodka drinks, two ingredient vodka drinks. Sounds pretty cool. I like this idea. It does have good volume and it is a easy keyword to rank for. Now what I'm going to do for my next step. So after keyword research, the second step is to look at the search intent. What do people want when they search for this specific keyword? So I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to plug it into Google to see what I get. All right, so the first one is what to mix with vodka, two ingredient drinks. So that's interesting that that's the number one result. I get actual recipes here. Here is a list post. Here is one idea. This doesn't tell me how many ideas. And here's a list post, list post. So it looks like there's a variety. It looks like people want ideas. They want specific drinks here. It looks like. I like the idea here that this one is winning of what to mix with vodka. And we can play on with that. But I think having a number, since that's the second option here, would really help with ranking potential. I would probably use something slightly higher. You cannot go wrong with the best overall trigger numbers, such as 10, 20, 50, and 100. Those get clicks more often than something like 21, 35. Even though odd numbers do get more clicks, you want to stay with those base numbers that are true, tried and true. So I would go with something as high as 50. If I really wanted to see if this would work, I would do 50. People are using easy here. I have easy. I have memorize. Easy is the one. With all of this coming to my mind, I'm looking at the search intent is that it's an ideas post as well as a recipe post. They want to not only get the idea, but they want the recipe in the post. So I want to provide that. You can go and look on your own term, look and see what is provided in these blog posts, but I personally don't. I just like to look at the results on Google because I don't want to get any kind of information from other people's posts and then regurgitate that in my blog post. 
list. I don't want to do that. The next step after that, step three is to look at some superlatives that I can add to my title. Because I want this SEO optimized, I'm going to use the actual keyword in my title, but I need to up the click worthiness. And for step three, I can see that some of those superlatives is easy. I might, if I could try to add, here's cheap. So easy and cheap, easy, easy. Everyone's using easy. Maybe mine can stand out as using the word simple. I have healthiest here. I could use quick. I think no one's using quick. And I wanna denote sort of the idea of that these two ingredients you probably already have. So if I'm gonna use a high list, I'm gonna come up with my title as something like, let's go back and see what we can play around with. So I decided 50 simple two ingredient vodka drinks. Instead of that, let's do tasty. I haven't seen tasty and I do want people to want to sort of get this um, evoke emotions. Tasty two ingredient vodka drinks you can make at home. And then the last tip I can offer you is to up the curiosity factor by adding certain words that are CTAs that are call to actions of like, you need to know right now. I'm um, using the words like now, click now, I'm obsessed with, you need to check now. That type of ending seems to get clicks. So 50 tasty two ingredient vodka drinks you can make at home today. Uh, drinks to make, let's make this at home today. 50 tasty two ingredient vodka drinks to make at home today. Something like that, where I'm coming up with something that is click worthy. It's something a little bit different, it's tasty. I'm not using easy. If I was to use something like easy, I could do something like 50 easy and healthy two ingredient drinks, two ingredient vodka drinks I'm obsessed with. You can even be a little bit personal Personal because it's at the end of my title, I'm okay with it being a little bit more personal. That could draw clicks again. You know, when you look at it, this is quite long. So I, again, I would play around with it. 50 tasty two ingredient vodka drinks to make today. I can just say like that instead of at home to make today. There, that that shortens it a bit and that looks a little bit better on the search results. Or I can do 50 easy and healthy two ingredient vodka drinks I'm obsessed with, right? So when you are coming up with your SEO blog title, I want you to come up with a couple, like at least three to five different headlines that incorporate your main keyword, but you add different superlatives, you add different like CTAs or like up the curiosity factor. You know, and let's play with another one here. We can do 50 unbelievable unbelievable easy two ingredient vodka drinks you need to try unbelievable easy two ingredient vodka drinks you need to try um, unbelievably easy unbelievably easy two ingredient vodka drinks you need to try it's a little bit of a tongue twister there a mouthful but you get the picture of what i'm trying to do i'm trying to up that curiosity factor but i'm i need to highlight that you know this is the main keyword you want in your headline that's my four step process let me know in the the comments below what you do to come up with your optimized SEO blog title for your blogs. And uh, let me know if you've ever used the free keyword generator offered by Ahrefs. I think it's a quick and easy way to find valuable keywords that you can start ranking for today. And please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more blogging tips, money tips, and just regular marketing tips to help you be successful as a mom blogger.